Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. It is Monday, and I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, we pray that uh, uh, God was good to you over the last few days. And now here we are starting a brand new week um, and um, with Five Minutes with Phil, of course. And uh, I, uh, I, I love this week because it is Thanksgiving week. And Thanksgiving tends to be one of my absolute favorite holidays. Um, and not for the obvious reasons, okay? Um, sure, the food is great. But uh, uh, I think just being with friends and family, that's always been uh, real special to me. I've always enjoyed that immensely. And uh, uh, I hope this week is a great one for you as well. Now, with that in mind, uh, I've decided this week for Five Minutes with Phil to uh, take a look at uh, different verses that mention giving thanks. And I'm telling you, when I was researching this and when I was preparing for this uh, week for five minutes with Phil, uh, I was reminded just how many scriptures there are about giving thanks to the Lord. And uh, I want to start that off today by going to the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalm chapter 107, verse 1. And what's interesting is that this is actually repeated, this uh, verse is actually repeated numerous times in the Psalms. And it says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. And that is a reason to give thanks today. Uh, I want to remind you that the love of God, the love of the Lord is not conditional. It, it is not... Um, it's not based on your conduct. God's love is not based on uh, how productive you are or how successful you are as a Christian. God's love for you is not based on your background or how long you've been a Christian. Um, God's love for you is very much based on uh, the fact that it is who he is, not what he gives. God's love is who he is. First John tells us that God is love. And there is nothing you can do. Understand this. There is nothing you can do to cause God's love to change. Not for you. Not at all. There's nothing you can do. Uh, you could fail and God's still going to love you. You could even reject God and he's still going to love you. And on the flip side, you can do a lot of great things. Maybe you could preach a lot of great sermons or you could do a lot of good for the world or you can give to the poor. That doesn't cause God to love you more. God's love is the most steady and consistent thing that you can ever experience. And the psalmist here ties God's goodness with his love. They're inseparable. God is good. God is love. They go together. And neither of those change based on your circumstances. And neither of those change based on something you've done or haven't done. So I want to encourage you today, in this whole week of giving God thanks, in this whole week of Thanksgiving, can I encourage you today to take some time today to thank the Lord for what you might think is kind of elementary, but it's actually incredibly profound. Thank him that his love endures forever. It does not change. It does not end. It does not increase. It does not decrease. It is consistent. He is good. And his love endures forever. And I hope that blesses you today. All right. Gotta let you go. 
have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, we will, Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. We love you. Bye-bye.